Welcome back. Let's make this a little bit more dynamic. We have our home route, but for all the other HTML pages, it'll be nice if this was generated dynamically so that we don't have to copy and paste code. So let's delete all of these and instead use this little syntax that we learned about where we can dynamically accept different URL parameters. In this case, we can just call it page name. And this page name should be a string, right? So now we can use the string type to say, I want the page name. So this is going to be HTML page. And we want to render in the template the data that was entered in the URL. So we can actually give it the page name here as the input and print out the page name here. Let's see if this works. I'm going to save this, go back to our home page, and it works. What if I do works? Yeah, look at that. If I go to about me, about me works, contact. All right, contact is working, but the CSS isn't being applied, so we have to update that. And we still see the components. All right, so there's a few things that we need to fix, but everything is working dynamically, which is great. And you see that even index.html that we had issues with before is now working, which is great. So let's fix a few things. We've now made our code super simple and easy to understand, but there's a few bugs that we need to fix in our code. First is to remove the components. Now, the reason this is happening is that each page, if we scroll up to the top, so let's go to the about page, has the components link. So from each page, we just have to remove the components. So let's go to contact, remove the components here, go to index. We've already removed the components for that one. If I go to work, work is a little bit different. We'll get back to that in a second. If we go to works and again, at the top in the navigation, the components we can just remove just like that. We also saw that the context page doesn't have CSS added to it. So again, we go back and we add the static folder here. Same with the favicon right over here, and then the JavaScript file at the bottom. If we save, go back, let's refresh, and go to home. If we go to works, that works. About me, that works. Contact, look at that, how pretty is that? All right. Now, a few things that I wanna fix here. One is that we see that the numbers don't match over here. We want them to ideally match, right? So we have this working, but then about me and contact, hmm, that's kind of weird. Let's see why that is. If we go back, we go to contact, we see that in the navigation, we have one, two, three, four, which looks great. But then at the bottom, we see that the numbers contact me are a little bit off. So let's just do zero four for contact me. If we go to about, making sure that the about page or about me is zero three. So let's do that. And now if I save and refresh, we have contact me, about me, works and home. All right, two last things. And then we're gonna get back to Python, I promise. One, I wanna change this text so that it says my name and maybe I'm a Python developer. So all we have to do is once again, go to index.html and look for this text, add your site or app content here. So we can see here it says, hello, I'm James Dean, French designer. So let's just say I'm Andre Nagoy and let's say, Python, let's say expert, sounds cooler. 
working as a freelancer. Let's do an instructor, because I am an instructor after all. So that if I save and refresh, how awesome is that? Super, super simple. That looks pretty neat. All right, the last thing is the works part. If you look at my works and I click on discover, all right, so here you can add your own projects that you want. If I go to 06, I guess the links here aren't working since we only have one work. But let's say you wanted to add a different project. All we have to do is simply say work2.html and link in 002 here with work2. Let me show you how that's done. So let's go to work.html. If we do control F and do 002, we see that these are the links. Look at that, 002, 003. So all we have to do is perhaps change the link here to work2.html so that it links to work2. Now, that's something that you can do on your own. Again, we don't want to focus too much on HTML and CSS because it's outside the scope of this course. But as you can see, we have a pretty neat website, pretty fast. It only took us a couple of minutes and you now have a portfolio web page. But there's one big piece missing and one thing that Python can really help us with. That is this contact form. It wouldn't be a real portfolio website unless people can contact you, right? Maybe employers or people that need work done can actually send you a message. So over the next couple of videos, we're actually going to explore this, where we're able to send information to our server in the back end and actually capture it and save it and store it somewhere. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.